Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, today we took a fucking hiding. So Tim Nakey, he's gone to Vegas, but his max bet that he can put on for his next hand for blackjack is 10 grand. I think he's going to be playing five boxes on the one hand. So he's basically going to play as every person on the table, I think. 50 grand US, but he's playing five separate hands. And I think that's the max he can do in Vegas now that he's gone there. So it is an interesting pro approach that he has gone with here. He's actually claimed on his story now that he is trying to bet higher, but trust me, I've looked down every avenue and we literally cannot bet higher, which is interesting because his most recent bet was a $94,000 bet on the online casino. So he can still bet higher, but he is choosing to bet in person in Vegas and the max he's gonna be able to bet is 50 grand US. He's no longer betting 10 cents for every Instagram follower, which is interesting. And I think it's a sensible approach for him, to be honest, because now he is betting a consistent stake. No matter what, he's betting $10,000 per bet. He's playing five bets a day, essentially. It's a very sensible way for him to go about it because what he had been doing in the past was, now we got a bit of stick for this, and we caused a bit of a stir because we said it's degenerate punting. Him playing blackjack and just betting 10 cents for every single Instagram follower he has, it's degenerate because reality is he's increasing his bet every single bet. He started with a $1,500 bet 73 days ago or whatever, and now it's gone up to a $94,000 bet or whatever his most recent bet was. So he is increasing his bet size every yeah. single time. Now, he's been lucky that he has got lucky. And that's the only reason that he has blown up, in, in my opinion, is because he's gotten lucky. Well, it's not, it's not luck. It's just that that's not enough variance has played out yet for, for the negative to come. Yeah, well, he's got positive variance, if you want to look at it that way. So if he sure. stops now, he sh if he's going to bet like that, he should stop now. He should stop, 100%. And, and if he stops now, good luck to him. I, I hope he, he does stop. increasing his stakes, just like any punter, the reason they lose is because they change their stakes. Correct. And that, so what happens is, is if he... He, so he's got 600 grand of profit right now. It's taken him 73 days of being lucky, getting positive variance, however you want to call it, to build up that bankroll. But he has built up that profit by $1,000 bets, $3,000 bets, $10,000 bets, yeah. $20,000 bets, yeah. $30,000 bets, $40,000 bets. Now, all of a sudden, he's... Six well, bets away from losing it all. Correct. He's six in, in, bets away in, from losing four, it all. Or maybe five bets by the time his following keeps going up. Even but, though it's probably taken him 40 winning bets out of 70. Correct. I don't know what it would be. He's probably got a higher strike rate. I'd love to know what his strike rate is. It would yeah, be ridiculous. Um, he's probably had like 50 winning bets out of 70, I would imagine, to get to the point where he is. Or he's yeah. had really good positive variance with his big bets. Yeah, it's like if he gets to, let's say... Um, just hypothetical, three million followers. Yeah, he, he he's two bets away from losing his whole. Literally two bets away. That's bet. a good, that's a good extreme. But that's, although that's, that's a while away, but it's it, he is two bets away then from yeah. wiping out his entire profit. Correct. Which anyone who has played blackjack or has played a close to 50-50 game yeah. has lost two bets in a row. So and even though yeah. he's got incredibly good positive variance to build himself up to now, he's only two bets away in that instance. Or currently, as it stands, he would only be six bets away, which is only a what? One in 32? What's two to the power of six? Two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64. 64. One in 64. A one in 64 chance right now that he blows 600 grand profit, that's not that unlikely. So it's actually very sensible what he is doing um, because if so I, he's saying that he can't bet more, I, I actually don't believe him. I think he, he's actually reasonably switched on. He knows how to play blackjack. Well, he's playing by the rules of blackjack and not deviating from those rules. No, and the, the problem is, though, that we had was not because of Tim or him or whatever else. Yeah. It was everyone, like even the people coming to us over the weekend saying, oh, he's not encouraging people to gamble and stuff. Yeah. But it, it takes people one second to look in the comments and there's – 100 people on every post asking him like, how do I do this? What casino is this? Yeah. If you don't think people are going to try and do what he's doing from those videos, you yeah. are literally living under a rock. No, it's, it's not. I wouldn't say living under a rock. That's, that's probably not the right way to describe but it. It's just that the people that think yeah. that when we say this is encouraging gambling, yeah, he's yeah. not saying go and punt blackjack. Of but course. it is like, it's like talking to a heroin addict and then Correct. dangling heroin in front of them. It's going to fuel that desire for them to get the, to get the hit, to get the heroin. And unfortunately, yeah. these people who, who, don't, who aren't addicted to gambling, you don't see them, can see that, yeah. these videos as purely the entertainment value. They're okay to just be like, oh, this is entertaining. But, I'm not yeah. now going to go and bet. But for the degenerate gamblers, they do, and they lose a lot of money. Of course, because of and, it. and also what he's doing, it'd be like doing what you said with the carrot, with the heroin, and then only showing the high and not showing them the next yeah. day when they're fucked. 
yeah, correct. or when they're dead. And he, he spoke about that as well, um, is that he, when he has the losing days, he's like depressed. But the question I want to ask everyone if they're still watching is, why would a casino want to team up with Tim Naki? Yeah. Like, ask, what's the aim of a casino? Yeah. What to is make aim? money. To, to take people's money. So but, everyone uh, thinks out there that so he is taking money off the casino. No. The casino are literally lining up yeah. to get him because they know that he's going to have a massive following and they're going to yeah. inevitably get the weakest of the week, which Correct. is people who fall for this stuff. Yeah. And that's their target audience. And they're just going to do that through him and his audience. And, and, actually, and, and hypothetically, we'd have to speculate, but even if he has taken 600 grand off this casino, the casino works on masses. They're now going to have potentially 60,000 people go and play on their, on their software and it's just good math. luck. It's just edge it's just in edge. their favour, yeah. volume, more turnover equals more money for casino. Correct. Simple. Tell but me. anyway, so if he, if he goes with this strategy moving forward where he plays five hands... 10 grand per hand on the one table, on the one set of the game, however it's talked about in blackjack. That's actually really sensible because worst case scenario, um, he can lose 10 grand now in one hit, in one individual game. He's playing five games, 10 grand each game. Yeah. He can only lose 10 grand on one game Which now. is less than, or it's about 1.5% of his bank. Which is a sensible way, if yeah. you're going to be betting, you select a unit size, a bet stake of you know, 1%, 2% of your bankroll. So now, worst case scenario, he is still going to lose a little bit of money over the... Say he plays 1,000 hands. You'd have to lose 60 in a row to lose it all. Correct. To blow his bankroll, now he's going to lose 60 in a row, so that's a good point. But reality is, if he plays perfect blackjack, he's going to lose 2 or 3% of what his total turnover is once the odds play itself out, which, which always happen over yeah, the long casino's term. Casino's edge. Casino's edge will come out the longer that he plays. And so therefore, he's only going to lose 2 to 3%. Now, if he's got 600 grand profit, he might lose 2, two or 3% of that. Um, he's probably going to turn over you know, somewhere of like potentially like 3 million over the next couple of months. Um, and he might lose 2 or 3% of that, which is only you know, 50, 60 grand or something like that. If he kept increasing his bet size, depending yeah. on how many Instagram followers, he was only yeah. always going to be six, five, yeah. four He'll bets away. He'll eventually be one bet away from losing it all. And, and potent, yeah, eventually he's going to get million, to the point. Uh, like Correct, if he yeah. sits at 700K and he's got yeah. six and a half million followers, there's one better way. bet, he's, he's got 50K. So the longer this was to go on, essentially this is a good way of describing how if you increase your unit size over time, yeah. you're only ever going to lose because you are, the longer you follow, the longer you increase your unit size, the shorter amount of bets or the less yeah. amount of bets it takes for you to blow your bankroll. Mm -hmm. And eventually it was going to get to the point here where he was going to be placing a bet that was the size of his profit yep. and he is one bet away, a 50-50 coin flip away from losing it all. Yep. And imagine that happened. Well, th this is what happens to gamblers. <laughs> this is what every happens week. to gamblers every day. Like yeah. if there's one tip you can give a gambler, it's yeah. never changed the size of their bet. 100%. And, and this, is, this is why I don't think people realise why we were so irritated and frustrated yeah. they, this is the degenerate because side we of it. know it's going to lose long Correct. term doing it's not that. the fact that he's playing blackjack i understand blackjack's a, a fun game it's a card game if you play it sensibly you're going to lose some you're going to win some you're going to lose a little bit overall but the point is last week we, we copped a lot of hate and we were prepared for that like we knew that was going to come because a lot of people were just like looking at us and being like oh look at you guys like hating this guy yeah. he's, he's viral like Tim, Tim, I don't know Tim, like, but what he's doing is not sustainable. And if people Correct. do that, we don't want them to lose money. That's why Correct. we're a business that has helped thousands of people make money and stop losing. And this is a behavior that we know does not make money long term. We've helped so many people get out of the hole, like thousands of people, and then go on to make money or never gamble before and actually make money. So our business stops you losing, makes you money. Mm. And then we see someone doing something that is literally going to lose you money betting like that long term. Mm. And we know that it's mathematical. Of course, we're going to call it out. Yeah. We've done it for three years. We call out Nathan Brown for, for posting multis two yeah. years ago on our podcast. Hey, it's not about Nathan Brown. It's about don't do that activity. It's designed for you to lose. Yeah. Sportsbet is paying Nathan Brown to do that. The casino will be paying Tim Nakey to sponsor him now. Yeah. So what is so the goal? Do, do you think, so yeah, do you think <laughs> the casino would be paying him if he had all of a sudden discovered a way to beat the casinos? Right. I wouldn't have thought. So if you think you're ready to get started and you have what it takes, send us a DM saying, I am ready and we'll help you out.